So usually I'll start my morning with some breath work and then I'll go right into a cold shower. But today I was thinking let's do a sea swim instead. This is the hardest part right now when your body actually starts to warm up again. You start to get pins and needles everywhere, especially in your feet. Um, in your extremities, it's usually the worst because all the blood rushes away to more of your central body to keep all your organs going so you don't freaking die. That's why a lot of times people uh, will have like amputated fingers or stuff like that. So. Yeah, that's why I rushed right back to the car and uh, I'm trying to warm up ASAP. All right, so now that we've done that, let's head back home. I think this was a great substitute for a cold shower. Going into the sea is always awesome. And if you can do it, it's just a good way to push yourself a little bit out of your comfort zone and also get more of the benefits of cold thermogenesis. By the way, this is just a version of hormesis. So we're just going in and pushing our body a little bit harder so that when it comes back the next time, it'll be stronger. A good example is exercise. All right, let's get to the rest of the day. That was a lot of freaking food. Oh, I wasn't expecting it to be that much. I usually have two portions of meat, but the pachana looked a little small. So I was like, hmm, why not do a bit more? Yeah, um, I am full as heck at the moment. My normal breakfast usually replaces the meats with four or five poached eggs, but unfortunately I didn't have any at the moment. So gotta do with what you got. And a lot of you are probably thinking, dude, that's a lot of food. Yeah, I've been eating a lot of food recently, purely just cause my goal is to gain weight, specifically gain muscle. And luckily that has been the case. Actually, it's been really good. And usually this is a really difficult situation for me. I'm what you call a hard gainer, meaning my body doesn't want to put on weight, period. So this is like the first time in my life where I'm actually making results in this area. And it's fascinating because it's happening during quarantine. Anyways, let's continue the day. Now it's time to get back to work. Może tak, może tak. <laughs> więc, więc normalny. Ok, dobry, do widzenia. Dzięki. How's it going, Giza? What's up, dude? Yo, this chat has been in the making for such a long time. Not the tastiest smoothie in the world, but more so for the health benefits. All right, so I completely messed up and the video that I actually shot to end off this vlog was completely crap. You couldn't hear any of the audio at all, so let's reshoot it. But honestly, the rest of my day was quite standard. 
It consisted of doing some work, which was script writing for my videos, then having a Polish lesson, then going back to work and designing some software, then having a chat with Charles Kerr, uh, who's part of the part-time YouTuber Academy by Ali Abdul. Then finally, getting a workout in, having a smoothie, and now we're here. By this point, it was basically the end of the day, so I was starting my evening routine and tossed on my blue light blockers, just like this. And then from there, I had some chamomile tea, did some meditation, and like usual, went the heck to bed. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you're interested in more content, be sure to check out my vlog here of how I moved to Poland to slowly start traveling the world. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.